Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial where we present you MindFusion WordPress Org plugin. The plugin is used to build organization charts of any size. You can edit the data on each node, name, title, comments. When you right click on a node, a new node is automatically created beneath it, that is, a direct subordinate. The image of the employees are set by giving their URL. When you want to change the position of an employee, you need to delete the link to its current boss. The node moves to the top of the chart and becomes red. Now you can drag and drop it over the node that will be its new boss. It moves beneath it and gets colored accordingly. The plugin supports a save function that exports the newly created org chart as a JSON file. It also has a load button that reloads the diagram so you don't have to reload the whole page. There is also a print function and a search function. Let's try it and search for Anne. The node with an employee named Anne is selected. Let's search for something else, developer. We have three developers as the search result text informs us. Their nodes are rendered with dotted frames. So, how do we install and use the plugin in order to build a chart like this? We go to MindFusion Company website and from the product menu, navigate to the org chart plugin page. We click the download button and open the location where the archive was saved. We copy the path. On the dashboard of our WordPress blog, we navigate to the plugins menu and select upload file. We point to the directory where we have saved the archive, select it, and click Install Now. Then we activate the plugin. The plugin now appears in the plugins list and we click the Settings link. Here we have the two text boxes where you can put the path to the JSON file the chart will load from and a link to the license file. Here, you can also control which buttons show and turn the read-only mode on or off. Now let's create a new post and name it orgchart. Now we need to initialize the plugin. We go back to the plugin website and click the user guide. Here, we look at the how to use paragraph and check the short code for the plugin. We see we need to type mindfusion underscore org underscore chart and omit the part with the JSON file. We don't have one yet. Now let's publish the page and see how it looks. Here it is, an empty diagram where we can start creating nodes. We right-click on the blank space and an empty node is created. When we click on it, a new one is created. This way, we can create all the nodes we want. Let's look at these pictures here. We have uploaded them on the web server of the blog in a directory wp-content slash images. Let's check that the images are here. We have an image called ceo.ping. Here it is. We paste the image URL in the image box. Then we edit the name by double-clicking on it. We set the title and double-click in the comment section to add a comment. Let's edit another node. We know there is an image for a CFO. Let's edit the node. Note how the nodes resize automatically to fit the new text. We create one more guy, the IT boss.
Let's delete the fourth node. We won't create any more employees for now. Time to save the chart. We click the Save button, and the diagram gets downloaded as a JSON file. We have uploaded the diagram.json file in a directory called org-chart in wp-content. Here it is. In the user guide of the plugin, we check the syntax of the shortcode. We can use the json underscore url attribute to point to the location of a json file that describes the data of an org chart to be loaded initially by the plugin. We edit the shortcode of the plugin and add the json underscore url attribute. We set the path to point to the JSON file and upload the change. Here it is. The nice thing about the shortcode syntax is that you can create multiple org chart instances, each one using a different JSON file. Let's simply copy the syntax of our first instance. You can see that now we have two org chart instances. Of course, you can create the instances on different pages. Now let's set the path to the JSON file from the global settings. We delete the JSON underscore URL attribute and upload the changed post. Then we go to the Settings menu of WordPress and choose MindFusion Org Chart Settings. We paste the path to the JSON file and save the settings. Let's reload the page. The same org chart is rendered. The difference now is that if we create more instances of the plugin and do not use the JSON underscore URL attribute to set path to a different JSON file, all of them will render the same chart. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your interest in MindFusion developer tools.